Hey everybody, um, I just want to apologize if you're a subscriber, um, because I've been uploading a huge amount of videos lately. I'm just trying to get a lot of views, um, I really want more subscribers. Three is not enough for the work that I'm putting into my videos. Um, I'm not trying to sound mean, but I think that I should put up more videos. If people are responsive to subscribing, so I'm gonna start promoting my videos, um, which I've already done four of them. So today I'm going to do a pages um, beginning review or beginning tutorial. Um, as I said in my keynote um, tutorial, we use this every day at school, every single day. So, today, I'm going to use, <clears throat> well, I'm going to tell you about this, and I'm going to tell you the basics. Now, Pages has thousands, well, not thousands, hundreds of template templates. So, right now, I am just going to choose, how about I choose this one? You can edit what this says. So you can say, thanks for subbing. No, 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 no. So you can just change this. It's practically just a word editor, but it's more than a word editor. It is... You can drag pictures into it, get backgrounds, it's just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's just more than a word editor. So today, I'm going to teach you how to, um, <clears throat> basically, just go over some simple effects and stuff. So, I'm going to make this full screen. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so... First of all, I'm going to teach you how to add media. I'm going to go to audio and you can add an audio thing and whenever it's clicked, it plays. So I don't want copyright, so I'm not going to play the song, but say you had an article that's uh one sec right here click speak to play you can practically do a review of something and then you can share it online you can go to the share button and press share <clears throat> so right now let me get this off. Um, I'm just going to do like a review. Um, and that's all I'm going to write because that's one section. So I'm going to show you how to color code your text. So let me make this small. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to make this green. So why don't we go up here to colors? And first, you want to make sure that it's highlighted. So I'm going to make that a dark green. I'm going to make this. How about we make it like an urgent red because it's important? Something to get your attention. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're going to go down and say, whatever, just type a whole paragraph and all that stuff. And now you're going to want to change the color because it's a different section. So you're going to maybe change it to blue. And then say you want to talk about how they... They... 
support their fans and they do a lot of concerts, live concerts, and they really enjoy their jobs and they really, 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 really just enjoy singing and making their own music. So once you have that, um, do colors, change it, just keep doing that throughout until you're desired, and um, that's practically it for the colors. Now for shapes, um, I'm just going to do, I'm not going to type anything random this time, so I'm just going to type a random a click here, and I'm going to show you how to use shapes. Okay, so when you import a shape by going to the shapes right here, the drop down menu for shapes, you can still customize the color. Or not. One sec. Yes, sorry, I did it wrong. You can customize the color by going up here and selecting whatever you want. So I'm going to keep making these and I'm going to make like a big thing for it. Because say that was really important. And then you can go have to highlight it, go to inspector, and enable it as a hyperlink. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do my web page, and <coughs> there we go. And then when you click there, it will take you directly to your website, or another website, or say whoever you're reviewing's website. And you can add tables, um, name this one blah, and this one blah, and this one blah. And then you can, just for like data graphs and stuff like that. And once you've done that, you may want to add a chart. So you add a chart. They have 3D charts, which I think are amazing. You can make it how big you want it or how small you want it. So I'm just going to go place this right here. And, or how about I make a new page? I'm going to place this right here. And then I'm going to add a comment. Um, So you can make a comment so that people can see it, and then you can close the comment and stuff. And you can add a new section. I'm going to add a new blank, which is practically just adding a new paper. Now, you can also go full screen. <coughs> and for full screen, you can... Crap, I forgot where, what to do. Um, You can just edit everything, but make it bigger and not get distracted by everything else. Um, yeah, you can just use your magic mouse, mighty mouse, whatever mouse you have to scroll. And it still runs the same. So if you double click, it plays. Um, yeah, you have headings, just like any other program. Um... <coughs> Now for fonts. Macs come installed with thousands of fonts. And when I say thousands, I need hundreds actually. But whatever. Um, you can say you want that to be a different font. You want to change the size. 
and there. It's that easy. You just go up to the right corner and press fonts. And this button takes away the toolbar, and this button just adds paragraphs, to, um, paragraph styles. So if you're making a documentary on something, or making your own book, or whatever, <clears throat> an outline. It outlines. Well, <clears throat> yeah. It just bakes, basically outlines everything. So it would outline right here, outline right there, and outline right there, and there. <clears throat> if you can see those marks. Um, now, for inspector, just like before, you can add a background. Let me try to find it. I'm not sure what the background's here. Um, Come on. I can't seem to find it, but <clears throat> you can add backgrounds and stuff. Um, it's practically it for pages. It's just a word processing thing, but it's more than a word processor so don't think that it's just a word processor you can add images and all you need to do is you just need to drag an image onto there and it'll add the image same with audio or you can just go to media and select anything you want so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this please subscribe um help support me to get uh partners um really trying hard um thanks for watching again and see you